A woman given only a 12% chance of survival is dancing again. Yeah, you should see her today after doctors in Loveland were able to help her. A semi hit Jennifer Thompson as she walked down the side of a snowy and remote road in Wyoming nearly two years ago. Our Dylan Thomas has the remarkable story tonight from the Medical Center of the Rockies in Loveland. Dylan Thompson was back at the hospital this time to say thank you. Well, uh, Jennifer Chapman was brought here to the Medical Center of the Rockies last year, and when she was flown in, she was in a coma. She had a traumatic brain injury and several broken bones. Today, she returned, and her doctors tell us they're as surprised as many others to see how well she's doing, given the fact she was on her deathbed just last year. When Jennifer Chapman walks through the halls of Medical Center of the Rockies, her smile shines. That may just be because the doctors who roam this building are the ones who save both her legs and her life. I was in a coma for approximately three weeks. It isn't clear how or why she ended up on a remote and snowy road in January of 2018. They did think that I had run out of gas and I was on foot and I was hit by a semi truck. Breaking bones, nearly killing her. After a stop in Casper, she was flown to Loveland to be cared for by UC Health doctors like James McCarthy. They said there's been a woman hit by a semi and I had to have them repeat it because it didn't make sense in terms of um, the gravity of, of the injury. For more than 50 days, Chapman went in and out of more than 20 surgeries. What if I don't ever walk again? But a team of doctors, nurses, speech therapists, and more treated frostbitten fingers, broken bones, and a traumatic brain injury. One of my doctors prayed with me before every surgery. A lot of what she was going through was not only physical, but psychological, um, spiritual. So Wednesday, Chapman returned, this time on foot, something only possible thanks to this room full of medical professionals. I can't thank them enough. In their minds, they're just doing what they're supposed to do, but it means everything to my family and my kids. A real special moment today was when they showed a video at the end to the entire staff of her dancing. She grew up dancing and doing gymnastics, and now she's back to it, even coaching some young kiddos as well. Live in Loveland, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Dylan, wow, an amazing story. Thank you for sharing that with us. Well, while you